Connor Dog has put out a video on the whole situation. What situation, you may ask? We need to talk about the Iron Mouse situation. So buckle down, Chad. I will be reacting to this. I will be pausing it, skipping it, forwarding it, um, um, flipping it and reversing it. So if you guys want to hear this at your own pace, I will link this in my chat. And also, if you're watching at YouTube, click uh, down below at the description so um, you can get yourself um, uninterrupted um, video. But... I'm going to react to it because I feel like I can share my little point of view. I am a VTuber and this talks about VTubers. So let's see what we got here, chat. This video is going to be a long-winded rant. And if you like that, welcome. Come join the angry British I love man. a good long wind. Not, don't worry, my normal videos rant. will resume after this one. I just had to talk about this. I feel like online lately, it, it has been a... He can talk about anything. With a voice like that, bro, he can talk about anything and I will listen miserable experience for any of us to be online and i actively feel that my mental health gets drained slowly using any yeah. online platform especially instagram in my case, the tiktok twitter. I think the twitter, twitter allowing people to make money from ads is probably one of the worst changes to any platform in history sure i have to stop here for a second because i I feel like everybody changes all the time. Just a couple of months ago, I was here advocating for freedom of speech, right? Which I'm still a big proponent of freedom of speech. Talk talk your stuff, right? Be, being able to speak. But however, though, I didn't really take into account that Twitter is actually paying people now. Twitter is paying people to just spout hate. And I think that's bad. I think it's bad that we are enforcing people to spout hate and then get paid for it. Because this makes things very different now. People are just now spouting hate and just saying the most crazy things, even if they don't believe it, but they're trying to get that paycheck. The, the amount of people that I watch on Twitter now just say the craziest things, make the craziest things, and then get paid for these takes, uh, this misinformation, misguided stuff. And then your your take on it is like, well, they have a, a reader's context that if there's misinformation, they'll be um, um, corrected. That doesn't matter because somebody's already seen that and they already got paid for that. So if Pokimane, because I've seen this a lot lately, Pokimane says, oh my God, I love going to sleep on the nude. This is an example, right? And then I see a post on Twitter say something like, oh my God, Pokimane just admitted that she just slept and gangbanged like 20 million people. This is nasty kind of behavior, blah, 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 blah. And that view, that post gets so many clicks. Even if it's fake, even if it's misinformation and it's corrected at the bottom, reader's context, it doesn't matter. This person is getting paid to sell this so it is incentivizing people to do this more because now people um you know little jimmy's um growing up right 13 14 16 um 18 and it's like impressionable person you know sometimes you're you're 18 21 and you're technically an adult but you're still thinking like you're 13 years old we see this all the time this person sees these and they're like wait you mean to tell me that i could be getting twenty thousand dollars on twitter by just spouting hate sign me up. It's just really weird. You know, it's really weird to get paid for spouting your, your, your negativity. I, 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 I'm, I'm for freedom of speech, but this one is a little bit weird for me. I get $20 here and there for tweeting a funny picture of my giant monkey behind me, but there are those who use yeah. it to spread misinformation, lies, just make stuff up, spew absolute vile hatred stuff. It, it's pretty horrible experience to use it now, as Twitter seems to feel like it only wants outragement bait or tweets that'll make people angry. And, and if you're not seeing that, you're seeing somebody get killed. So it's really just a miserable experience <laughs> it, it, overall. And they're going to be started on TikTok experience. and Instagram, which are famous yeah. for their brutal comments. And I wouldn't really even use the word brutal, because I think brutal can sometimes mean there's a bit of honesty and fun there. But 
I would say it's just cruel. Like just being online right now is cruel. It feels like nobody has any respect for each other, but I don't think I've- <laughs> I mean, to be fair though, that has always been the, the case on the internet. Like it's never been a, a, a sunshine and rainbows case for being on the internet. Um, if you're a gamer, you already know how their lobbies were a long time ago and nothing's really changed there. Being on the internet has always been a cesspool. I mean, uh, m maybe he goes on more about this, but being on the internet, that's not a surprise. I'm not saying that it's okay either, but I mean, it's just always been this way. It's always been a brutal place. Quite lost as much faith in the internet as I have until now. But look, I'll be honest. This video is about one thing. It's about yeah. the weird blanket hatred towards VTubers. I've seen a massive, massive hate train against Iron Mouse, which I don't understand. And I know that you guys aren't the ones doing yeah. this. And I, you guys watching this video are very normal and well-adjusted people, and I appreciate that. But there are a lot of people online that seem to just <laughs> have fun ruining other people's lives. I yeah, don't it's, understand it's, it. It's, <laughs> I don't understand it. It's really, really weird. It's like, if you got nothing nice to say, just shut the fuck up. You know, just like, why? There's a lot of people that I don't like, that I don't agree with, a lot of people that I just don't care to. Um, but I, I, I'm not going to go and spout my hate because it does nothing for nobody. Like, why would I do that? Some people think that their opinions matter or something. Oh, they get some fix out of it. It's just really weird. Now, you're probably wondering, why am I bringing all of this up? Well, well, don't worry. It'll all make sense. Just just get along for the ride and listen to the weird British man rant at you. You see, in 2024, Iron Mouse broke the all-time sub record on Twitch. It She's was a cute. massive achievement. It was, I'm sure, an amazing and an inspiring moment for all of us, as well as Mouse. Unfortunately, probably what we didn't see was the deluge of vile comments, disturbing threats, and just <laughs> overall hatred towards Mouse. And I'd love to tell you that this all started here and it's pretty Hello. much gone with now, but Hello. sadly this is a thing that has been going on for a very, very long time. And, and this is not just for Mouse. VTubers in general have had to deal with a lot of shit just for being an anime girl or boy on the internet. So let's go back in time a little bit so that we can better okay, understand the let's go back scope in time. of this time match. Travel. Yes, you got me. This is a video about me defending my friend. 100%. I, I'm not even trying to hide that. But I also just want to bring a tiny bit of attention to the level of normalized hate that is just for some reason acceptable. And hopefully that, you know, maybe this video can make a tiny bit of a change. Because what some of these creators have to endure yeah. is on a level that I've never seen before on the internet. And I've been here for a very long time. Four years ago, VTubers had a massive explosion in popularity here in the West. Now, obviously, they've been around in Japan for oh, a while. Oh, look this at is them. Very Japanese coded. Uh, but, you know, four years ago, they blew up and people started getting into them. However, there was a lot of pushback from people like me included who were kind of like, what is this? I don't know what this is, but I like it, but I don't know. I don't know yet. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm there. I agree. When I first started seeing VTubing pop up, I was like, this is so Omega fucking cringe. This is so annoying. Um, there, there was like these um higher pitched voices of girls saying ooh, ooh oh my god you know i thought it was just like really cringe um you know and for the most part i still think a lot of vtubing is pretty cringe and i know that's really weird coming from me but you know i'm, I'm not here to ruin anybody's day so i just keep that shit to myself um but yeah i i agree it's such uh, when it first started to pick up i was totally just found it s like outrageously cringe I don't know, I'm gonna see. And I'm sure any VTuber who was around in this era could tell you the amount of hatred that was given out towards VTubers. Like, why are you using a voice changer? Are you a man? Are you an AI, perhaps? You know, pretty uninspired, insulting comments. And during this boom is when a lot of people found Iron Mouse as well. Now, Iron Mouse had actually been streaming a long time before this as well, but it wasn't until this moment where a lot of VTubers were on Twitch and kind of getting great viewership. Now, obviously, VTubers choose to be represented by an avatar for a multitude of reasons, but for Mouse, it was for anonymity, which is why most VTubers do it. And now, look, I yeah. I cannot talk for Mouse. You know, Mouse is, Mouse is our own person, but, you know, Mouse has been sick for a very very long time with a multitude of illnesses, but the main one being primary immune deficiency. Primary immune deficiency is slightly different to autoimmune diseases that you might've heard about. Autoimmune diseases are where your uh, immune system kind of attacks itself. Whereas primary immune deficiency means that your immune system just doesn't work just or doesn't, doesn't work, work very chat. well. And I'm sure a lot of my viewers are familiar with this because <laughs> I'm always raising money for charities that want to find cures and Bro, support people with- I love Connor's build, dude. His build is- 
primary immune. It's great. We, can never get it right. Primary immune deficiency. Sorry, keep, keep, keep. I, I mess it up all the time. When you have a really bad mind, case of um, primary immune deficiency, it means that stuff like vaccines don't work on you. It means that you're worried about getting sick constantly from everything. Whereas maybe you and I could eat a bunch of dirt, maybe going even near dirt or someone who's slightly ill 20 yeah. feet away could easily get you sick or give you a bad case of pneumonia. This disease or means just that reading mouse pretty chat. much can't interact it with can anyone make you and sick. can't leave her room. And even if she wanted to, mouse was disabled for a very long time and has slowly started to regain the ability to walk thanks to being able to finally support premium. So right here, in case you guys are not following, um, he's going on about, um, you know, why Mouse decided to pursue VTubing and her issues with her health that's led up to her being a VTuber and why she's found comfort in being a VTuber. Um, cause she is, um, she does have some health complications and he's talking about it right now. Healthcare. Yay, love America. So this meant the only human content the mouse got was pretty much talking to her parents or very close family who she was kind of already adjusted to and family who understood about yeah. the disease and took precautions. And look, I know this is a lot of information, but what I'm trying to get but at is okay. that you can only imagine Keep how talking. crushingly lonely this must be. Imagine not being able to leave your room Yes, we were all there during COVID, but we at least knew that it was probably going to end at some point. And I'm sure yeah. many of you knew, me included, that this was awful for our mental health. Not being able to see the people that you care about or interact with friends or just have a casual interaction with a cashier person is interactions that I'm sure all of us missed. And it was thanks to yeah. VTuber technology getting so much better and more accessible that Mouse was able to stream like me or like you or like any other big streamer. It was it was, it was was a level playing field. And on top Sorry of that, to if be you were a more Mouse. artistically inclined person, Let me you move to the other side. your artistic skills by, you know, I don't know, costume design or singing or lore or voice acting. There's so many more facets yeah. to it than me <laughs> raging a jump king. I can burp really it's good. It's talent, okay? And one of the best clips Just of kidding, Mouse's early career is that when she's trying to raise money to get a new medical bed. Uh, basically, normal beds, not good. They don't offer you support. They don't allow you to like, you know, go <laughs> and like lie upright. Basically, a lot more This support. is the Iron Mouse the viewers, lore if they're chat. to donate towards that. In case, and in case you guys minutes, didn't know. Minutes, <laughs> they'd smash that goal. I don't like to call my bed my works, my bed my bed. I don't like calling it my bed. It makes me feel very embarrassed. It makes me feel... Not so good. So I like to call uh, my bed my workspace because that's where I am all the time. Foxy is so trouble pedaling. <gasps> As she hit her goal, Chad, she got herself a bed. So in case you missed it, little recap here. Um, she, this is her one of her very first models, if not her first one. And um, she's come a long way. Look at the model then and to what she has now. Um, so basically, she needed a new medical bed, like a medical grade bed, because, you know, laying in your bed is not the most comfortable. And she, like I said, um, like it's been explained already, she has health complications. So she needed a medical bed and she put a little um, goal to reach um, her little goal so she can get herself a nice little bed. Her workstation, because she's... I don't, I, this sounds really bad and probably not accurate, but she was like, in quotations, bed bound. So um, she wanted to be more comfortable so she can stream better. Damn it! Mal, what are you doing? Mal, thank you so much for the photo. And I think a lot of people forget that Mouse didn't used to stream long. Mouse used to only stream for like an hour or two at a time and then would go offline to take medication. But now feels comfortable enough to take the medication and still keep streaming, which I think is yeah. an amazing thing and something that the outpouring support has allowed us to do. And obviously VTubers do more than just talk and play crappy games like me. Some of them have god tier singing skills. We all know that Mouse was training to be an opera singer and sounds Mouse incredible. Mouse sounds amazing. If you could look at me once more. Combine that with aesthetically pleasing designs that are constantly changing. And it's no wonder that VTubers eventually had their boom. Now, obviously Twitch and YouTube have always been very gamer centric and gamer focused. And gamers aren't exactly known for being the most chill and reasonable people. That's like, my I chat was right a there. Call of Duty kid. If I said the things that I said in those lobbies and they were recorded, I would not be here today. I would not have a career True. or any, any career. I was toxic, okay? Now look, I've been a content creator for 10 plus years online. It's been my entire adult life. I've been doing this for so long that I'm a fossil in internet years. And even before that, I would pretty much only spend my time on the internet. And, and it was normal that <laughs> as a creator that you would get some really kind of hatred towards you. Or some eyes. people who would just 
blindly write me. It's really comments. good for him. It was part of the job. Doesn't mean it's a good part or that we should accept it, but it's just kind of how it was. And because every creator would get a bunch of hate comments here and there, there was a kind of a mutual respect amongst creators that you wouldn't just blindly and insult tone. each other for no reason. You, you wouldn't insult someone you didn't know or you didn't have beef with. It was a thing that you could expect because that's how normal people behave. However, nowadays, it kind of feels like that's not the case anymore. It feels like it's kind of encouraged or okay to punch down and make fun of other creators that you don't like or you think that something's weird about them. And this has happened a lot with VTubers. For example, in yeah, 2022, true. a massive TikTok creator, Noah Glenn Carter, made a video mocking the fact that people wanted to meet Mouse virtually. Here you go. This might be the saddest video on the internet. So I want you to take a look at all these people. They were all trying to get the attention of a monitor. Basically, that's a popular VTuber on the monitor that was virtually attending an anime convention. And this whole crowd of people were following the monitor in hopes that they could get a picture with it. Now, obviously, you and I know that Mouse can't leave her room, and this is the only way that Mouse can walk around a convention or see any of her viewers or any of those viewers can talk to Mouse. It's a yeah. rare experience for everyone involved and an amazing feat of technology that we can even do anything like this. And to his credit, he did apologize. This is an apology to a creator called Iron Mouse because of this video. Now, in my video... I really hate the way TikTokers speak. Like, this is the way we walk to the store. And then over here, we see that there's cereal on the left. And if everybody buys that cereal, the store goes broke. It's, a, it's like, <laughs> speak about cringe, dude. <laughs> Sorry, I'm spewing hate. I'm sorry, I'm spewing hate. I, I, I shouldn't do that. I'm, I'm this, a, I, I would like to apologize for spewing hate about 30 seconds ago about the way TikTokers shoot these videos. Called the video one of the saddest videos on the internet, which is completely unnecessary on my part. Somebody just said, why can't Iron Mouse leave her house? She is born, um, I, I don't know. I might get it wrong here. The video did explain, and the video will be linked here in a second. Um, she was born with a condition um, that basically her immune system doesn't really work. So, you know, when we go out and adventure the world and we, you know, touch this, touch that, our immune systems are usually always fighting things like viruses and stuff that can affect us. Her immune system doesn't do that. So if she comes in contact with certain things and stuff, it could be a very, very, very bad for her. So Iron Mouse is pretty much um you know safer in her room around people who are aware of her um illness and that takes precautions to keep her safe so she can't really go out she can't really go you know places like that where we can expose ourselves to you know the outside world and come back and be okay because our immune systems are fighting all the time but not hers yeah and Iron Mouse actually responded, clarifying that the people weren't even crowding her, but instead they were crowding somebody named Connor that was there. I'm really sorry to you, Iron Mouse, if you're watching. My video was completely unnecessary. I really hope that my video didn't cause you any kind of negativity <laughs> or anything. And again, I am so sorry if it did. I will be deleting that video as soon as I post this one. First of all, ouch. Second of all, you didn't think there was gonna be any negativity? What do you mean by that? What now, do you look, to, mean? To Noah's credit, he did apologize and take down the video. And, I, and I, you know, I think that that needs to be commended as a lot of people don't have the common decency to do that anymore. But, but, would you, would you not have taken it down if you, if nobody complained? If everyone joined in? Haha, <laughs> let's make fun of it. Would you, would you not have taken it down? Or, or did you take it down just because people were like, hey man, you're kind of a dick. The reason yeah. why I show you this is not because I want to send any hatred. This is two years ago. It does not matter. It, it's over. Do not send hatred towards another creator. And if you do, you're a piece of shit and you should not be here. But That's why is it true. now that you can just dunk on something that you don't know anything about, you don't understand, and you didn't bother to research into? Yeah. Why is that the norm now? Why, why is it that you just post first and research second? Oh, oh, I got some. You know why? It's the same thing that I said earlier. It's the bag. It's the money. And we're incentivizing for people to post stuff like that on the internet if you get paid for that. It's that bag. People are chasing that money. And it, it, it really sucks, you know? It really sucks. Like I said, I'm conflicted because I love freedom of speech and I love being able to give my takes and, and for other people to do that as well. But it's, you know, I don't know. I guess you got to take the good with the bad, and, and I do think that being able to 
um, relinquish any guilt or any responsibilities and just run your mouth because you don't like something and then um, just make up stories, create hate around it and then get paid for it. And we're not talking about getting paid a dollar, two dollars. These people are, are creating hate content and getting paid thousands, twenty thousand, fifty thousand dollars a month. It's just really weird. I hate about this. I'll take it down. Don't worry about the other 500 videos where I blindly made fun of I people I don't understand. I feel like jumping to conclusions happened before people got paid for it, though. No, it did. It did. Absolutely. It didn't create... I feel it didn't create the genre of hate speech, right? But it incentivizes it more now that you can get paid for it. It incentivizes people to do it because you see Jimmy getting that bag for posting hate. I think the, the fact that there's money attached to it is, is really the, my problem here. And the sad truth now is that it seems like it's okay if you're a large creator to be a dick to anybody you want or don't like or don't agree with. You know, <laughs> having a large audience is a huge, huge responsibility. Whether we like it or not, we are influencers. We influence people with our opinions and what we say. I'm sure some people watching this video right now will be influenced by my opinion on all of this stuff. That, that's that's how it goes. But for some reason, it's okay now to blindly hate others and send rabid fans to go and attack people and stuff they don't understand. <laughs> Why? Yeah. It's hard enough just existing right now. It is horrible living in this year. It is a miserable time to be alive. Why are we making it harder for everyone? And if you're a VTuber, it is kind of just accepted now that you just get this level of blind hatred all oh, the time. It is all it's the time. It's insane. Why is this okay? Anyway, moving on with the timeline. Since then, Mouse, and I assume most VTubers have had to deal with insult yeah. after insult that is normalized. For Mouse personally, this level of hatred and vitriol escalated another level when Mouse was nominated for the Game Awards. Uh, now, the Game Awards have this category oh, my Lord. Uh, for content Quackity. creator of the year. Obviously, this year had a massive amount of very, very big creators that I'm sure we're all familiar with. But, to the surprise of Mouse, and to most of us, Mouse got nominated. And, and this isn't saying that Mouse didn't deserve it. Mouse had an amazing year. Mouse had raised a ton of money for charity, uh, had broken the all-time sub-record for a woman on Twitch, and had done just some of the most amazing shit when you consider that Mouse is bedridden and has to have medication every single day that completely changes yeah. how any of this would be done and providing such an insane energy to every stream whilst battling a ton of medical issues that are permanent throughout Mouse's life. I think the nomination is deserved and by some sheer miracle, Mouse had won the award. It was a crazy achievement and nobody expected Let's Mouse go. to win, to be honest, because Mouse was by far the smallest creator out of the ones that were nominated. And the game award goes to Iron Mouse. So Iron Mouse couldn't be here tonight because Iron Mouse is animated and sadly we're not in the Matrix yet. Obviously these creators were massive and a lot of their fans that are watching the game awards were a, a bit upset about Mouse winning the award. This has yeah. led to a constant, constant, and I cannot preface this enough, a constant stream of hatred now that Mouse has had to deal with openly on all of her socials for years now. This is the level True. of hatred that is normally, like, I, I, I just gotta show you, I gotta show you, it's like ridiculous. This is 2022. Back when Mouse's comments were pretty normal, I'd say. As you can see here, this is beating Kai. Okay, a little negative and unnecessary, but not that bad. This over Kai. Bro, who are you? You know, it's, and luckily at this point, Bro, not all you? the comments are like this, but they're by far the most liked ones. And it only gets worse the closer we get to today. We all came from that Kai video, right? This is number one streamer. No way blood, this is number one streamer. This is who gets number one on Twitch. It's an evil world we live in. And you'd think, okay, maybe something happened at the time. It's this an evil world we live in. How do you, how is that like, how is a girl being behind an anime character considered evil evil well who the hell is screaming on my outside that guy is evil but like how do you quantify that how do you become evil by being anime like what this has been pretty much constant until now speed and kai on top how is the streamer of the year how is the streamer of the year? This won the award, by the way. Oh, hell nah. This is who won. No cap, who's Iron Mouse? 
brain rot. This beats Cypher PK? Game awards are wild. Why did you win? No way this one created of the year. I'm crying. This literally goes on and on. And you'd think, okay, look, it's because Mouse won the streamer of the year. It probably stops after that. Oh no. So many people like post this on Instagram reels, post this on reels. Oh yeah, great. Cause uh, love that. Love being toxic on Instagram. Bro, who are you? I'm begging you, please post this on Instagram. I, I, don't, know, I, so I don't even know what that means. Post this on Instagram reels. Is Instagram like a place where there's more toxicity? I, I don't get that. Cruel. What the I'm, out of, I'm out of the loop on this one. Just chill the f out, man. Who the f is watching this? This thing has the most subs on Twitch. How did you beat Kai? No human being on the planet wearing this. Okay, well, I, I wear it and it's f***ing fire. Okay, jeez. On my life, I've never in my entire life seen a single stream. Why do you care? Why? Like, if I just haven't seen something, I just don't interact. I don't understand what has happened where we all feel the need to, to say our opinion and, and be like, yeah, guys, we hate this, right? Who cares? You're a loser. This has gone on for months. Yeah. It's pretty much just led to Mouse just it's not posting on TikTok, toxic. which I feel is really f***ed up. You can just successfully bully a massive creator off a platform. Bro, this chair is so lucky. The, the, the reason why this all happened, by the way, is just because Mouse won an award. What? And this is just the stuff that Mouse gets on her own socials. This doesn't include the hatred that she receives from just existing in those posts from those low tier bait Twitter accounts that post, can you believe this cartoon is beating Mars streamer guys? And it only escalated once more when Iron Mouse got the all time sub record on Twitch, uh, which led to a bunch of news articles tweeting about it and, and people oh. talking about it. And unfortunately, a lot of people were just being blindly hateful. And of course, this level of hatred doesn't just stay on the platforms you'd expect it to. It's also in Mouse's chat. Uh, here is a 85 yeah. page I was, document. I was actually here when um, Kay Sanat, I was watching Iron Mouse that moment that Kay Sanat beat her record on Twitch and the amount of like hate that came to her chat was just crazy, bro. I was sitting there and there were people was like, ah, you got beat. You got beat your dog shit. And like all the amount of like hate that was coming in. <laughs> It was so weird because like, it's it's not like she made it a competition herself. You know, it's it's not like she's like, guys, we have to take him out. It's, it's she was just chilling and streaming and like all this hate. It's really weird. Uh, I'm just there are 12 year olds. Yeah, I do believe that a lot of people are are very, very young. These people are young. There's no way there's an adult saying that. Recent bands of people saying the most heinous shit Towards mouse. Now nah, you're telling me yeah. this bitch ass VTuber surpassed Kai Sinek. God, you know these people <laughs> are so ugly. You said how Sims donate to this crap. This is the bitch that broke Kai's record. I refuse to believe any of you are real human beings unless you have less than 60 IQ. No one in this chat. Uh, uh, about that that simp comment. Sinek. God, you know these people are so ugly. You said how Sims donate to this crap. This is a simp though, for Kai Sinek. Like you're doing no different, except you're simping for a fella. You know, like if you're going to go and call anybody who supports uh, Iron Mouse or a woman on the internet, a simp, you are a simp, dude, but you're simping for a fucking guy with balls and a cock. If you ask me, that's a little gay. Right. But, this you know, is the bitch that broke it's, Kai's I mean, record. It's the I refuse same to thing. believe any of you are real human beings unless you have less than 60 IQ. No one in this chat is real. I've been watching this shit for 10 minutes. And there's no nothing wrong with being gay. Just put that shit, out there. You weirdos. You'll never get on Kai's level. You guys know this is a fat guy, right? Amongst obviously all those insults, a lot of people uh, saying that Mouse is lying about her illness, which, I mean... And he won't even let you, you kiss or hold like, look it. Look at this. This is psychotic. This is f***ed up. How is this okay? And by the way, this is the list obviously that doesn't include the N-word bans, or that would be another 20 pages. Because of course it would be. Like if, like if this was my chat, I just would not stream. I would just not show up. Yeah. This is, this is, uh, this is f***ed. 100%, I want to make this clear. I'm not blaming any creator. Obviously, we saw a lot of people name dropping Kai, saying how, how could this lose to Kai and all that stuff. This is not me blaming Kai in any capacity. I think his audience is at the size that is absolutely Oh yeah, it, it, let let it be on the record. It's definitely not Kay Sanat's fault at all. Especially if you're the biggest streamer, right? If you have 200,000 people watching you beat a record, um, there's no way he can control all 200,000 people from running their fucking mouths. 
No way. Even if he sat there and preached peace, which he does, by the way, he is often telling his child to behave, to be kind, to be nice. I've caught it many times. I, I watched Kaysenat. I've caught him saying it many times. Hey guys, be nice. If you guys are not being nice, I'm going to end my stream. Be nice. He's always doing this. So, and, and, and for some reason, people just do what they want to do anyways, you know? So there's not much you can, you can do as a content creator to stop all of this. People are just going to do what they're going to do. Should. And, and you, at that level, you, you can try and tell your viewers, hey man, look, be respectful, which, which Kai has on numerous times. He, he's openly praised Iron Mouse and been very supportive towards small creators. Iron Mouse has always been top five all the time. He's somebody I had to pass during my first subathon. Now, I know people are defensive. I know a lot of people defend me and shit like that. But Chad, if you actually looked at her stream and actually kept up with what she's doing, you feel what I'm saying? Not only was it for a good cause, but yeah. it was pretty well put together. But obviously, you know, as a creator, you do still have some influence over your viewers. And I think it's important to make sure that when you see this behavior in the community that you call it out. And I'm not entirely sure when this happened online, but it feels like it's okay to just blindly make fun or hate something you don't understand or have not learned anything about. But I guess that is more of a reflection of the current times we live in. Because everyone seems to do that all the time. As it's a creator, because everybody has a platform now. Everybody has a voice now. And I don't think everybody should. <laughs> I would be embarrassed if I saw my viewers blindly hating on someone else using my name. I would be mortified if I saw that. And, and the one good thing about all you guys is that I know that you don't do that. And I appreciate that because you're all cool and you're all normally well-adjusted people, I hope. And look, I'll admit, I, I don't have a point of this video. I, I don't have a plan. I was just going crazy looking at all of this open hatred and losing my mind wondering why this is normal Th that was literally it and that's the reason why i'm making this video and i and i kind of wanted to ask if anyone else or any other vtubers or any other even youtubers uh, if you've experienced this same kind of level of blind hatred yourself i would love to hear about it just so uh that i know that i'm not going crazy i hope we can have a civilized and good discussion in the comments and so with that i wish you all the best of luck don't let oh, these urinal cake Lord. eating children distract you from what you want to <coughs> do in life now i'm gonna go drink a beer all right Oh, he's gonna go drink a beer. Well, Chad, that was me reacting to Connor's take on the whole hate um, online, especially for Iron Mouse, you know, his little friendo. Um, I mean, I agree with everything that he said. I agree with everything that he said. I think it's really weird. And people people often say, yeah, Ellie, uh, our VTubers are so accepted nowadays. They're like so normal. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. You don't, you don't know. Um, uh, to be quite honest with you, I think it's the worst of the worst hate gets thrown at VTubers because most of the popular ones, the bigger ones are women. Um, so that's already one thing that you have going against you. If you're a streamer and you're a woman, you're already put in a box where you're going to get shit thrown at you. You're either fat, you're a slut, or you're, um you're doing certain things for money, right? And then couple that in with being a VTuber, people still shit on anime to this day. Uh, re like seriously, like shitting on anime. Anime is still not accepted as much as people like to think, oh yeah, well, yeah, yeah. No, you live in your little um, circle and your little echo chamber. But truth of the matter is that watching anime is still cringe for a lot of people. Um, so weirdly enough, because we're gamers, right? And I think that gaming and anime go hand in hand, but there's still a lot of people who don't fuck with anime and anime watchers. You call those people nerds and blah, 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 and you bully them. And then, so you have a woman who is portraying an anime character on the internet that is just like, and, and you don't see, you can't see her, right? So then you think, oh my God, she's probably catfishing you. She's probably some fat dude. Oh my God, she's some this, 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 and that. V there's no way VTubers are going to ever win. It is, I don't think it should be that way, but hey, I'm also not going to fight for, th this is not my fight. Um, I've been on the internet since I was uh, a baby and I know that this is, things go and sadly, it, it is what it is. I you just, if you're planning to do this as a VTuber, yeah, there's some things that you're going to have to kind of expect and just kind of be okay with it. Like, I don't think it's ever going to get that much better. No. I think if you're a woman on the internet and then you're a VTuber, 
that's this is what you gotta you gotta have thick skin man there's a lot of people that end up quitting and this is at a small scale i've had a lot of people talk to me how do you do it ellie like like, like it's toxic out there and like they're sending me how do you do this and they, these are streamers and vtubers who are like not even at the peak of their career there are like you know smaller streamers and i'm like bro if you really want to do this, you got to grow a thick force. I mean, a thick skin because it ain't easy, man. It ain't easy. And I can't imagine it being easier for Iron Mouse either. She is a huge streamer, one of the bigger streamers. And the amount of stuff that she gets, she definitely deserves her flowers for being able to still go live the next day. Yeah. And reading all that. Reading all that stuff is just, I don't know. I'll drive the a normal person insane. Yeah. But anyways, um, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Hey, I kind of need a little bit of help. How about you help me out? Hit that follow subscription button. Um, all the good stuff. Yeah, comment and like, possibly, maybe. Please.